Welcome to today's video on Autodesk's Fusion Lifecycle presented by SolidCAD. This is the third in a three-part series of Fusion Lifecycle videos. In this video, we will focus on change management with a specific focus on engineering change orders. In the previous video, we looked at a project creation in Fusion Lifecycle and saw how Lifecycle connects to Vault Professional to create the folder structure. Then we saw how designers create their 2D and 3D models underneath that structure in Vault. Upon releasing the 3D models in Vault, we saw that the bill of materials was automatically extracted and transferred to Fusion Lifecycle for additional analysis. At a future point in time, someone may recognize a problem with an item in the bill of materials and wants to initiate a change. In Fusion Lifecycle, they can log a problem report. The problem report flows through a structured workflow, becoming an engineering change request and then an engineering change order. When the ECO is approved, Fusion Lifecycle pushes the information back to Vault, where the impacted assembly is changed to a work in progress state. Designers can then make the necessary design changes and release the revised assembly. Automatically, that data flows back to Fusion Lifecycle where the bill of materials is updated to reflect the changes to parts, quantities, 3D representations, and anything else that was impacted by the change. We will begin our demonstration in Fusion Lifecycle and display our dashboard. Let's assume we work on the quality control team and we are assigned to review an assembly. To make the task easy to find, we have added the task to my bookmarks, which is displayed in my dashboard. We will open that task in a new browser tab. Once inside this task, you will see how we can easily navigate to and access a lot of related information, item details, bills and materials, where used, attachments associated, change orders, and change log. In our example, let's go to Attachments, where reference documentation or files could be stored. We will open the Brewing Main Assembly DWF file in a new browser window, where we can review the 3D specifications of this model. While we're reviewing this model, we notice that the boil over tray on the left side is missing. We will open the model browser to verify the missing item. Let's return to Fusion Lifecycle and check the bill of materials where the boil over tray item lists as quantity of one. We need to increase that to quantity two. To adhere to our company workflow procedures, we need to create an ECO, which will inform the designers of the error and provide details on how to make the change. This will be done through the Fusion Lifecycle Change Management Workspace. Change Management is a standard lifecycle workspace. It can also be configured to suit your requirements. Notice that the workspace has several options, including Design Review, Problem Report, ECR, ECO, Document Change Order, and Deviation, and Waiver Requests. We will proceed straight to the ECO option to create a change order. Let's give it a title of Boil Over Tray and assign a priority. Priority may trigger or control actions such as sending automated notifications for high priority or no notification for low priority. We will select low priority. From a list of change reason codes, we will select the functional fix code and enter a detailed description. The approval routing determines which workflow process the ECO should follow. We will select the fast track approval, which will send the ECO directly to the engineering team. To complete the ECO, we will assign it to an approver. If the ECO had begun as an engineering change request, the ECR would be visible. We could select it from the list, which would tie the ECR and the ECO together and bring forward any reference information that was populated on the ECR. 
We will save the ECO and continue. In order to support our change order, we would like to attach some reference documentation. In this case, it is an image illustrating that the boil over tray is missing. We also need to identify items that are affected by this change. In our example, the main assembly requires modification. Let's move to the approval workflow. Defining workflows is one of the most important capabilities of Fusion Lifecycle. To ensure that the change management process follows your company's requirements, you can define workflows that are very basic or complex. In our example, we are at the very beginning of the workflow. The create box is highlighted in blue to indicate where we are in the workflow process. When we were creating the ECO, we had the option to choose which approval workflow to follow. One was the fast track approval. The other was a multi-step or more complex approval process. When we choose submit fast track, Notifications will be emailed to the designated people informing them of the ECO and instructing them to begin the design changes. Before proceeding, let's return to Autodesk Vault and locate the brewing main assembly. Take notice that the assembly is currently in a released state. In the release state, the assembly is locked and will not permit any changes. We will initiate the state change from Fusion Lifecycle so let's return there and approve the ECO. We select Submit Fast Track to approve the ECO. Additional notes can be added to document the step. The notes will be stored with the ECO for future traceability and reporting. A quick return to Vault and refreshing the screen. We now see the assembly has been placed in the work in progress state. Designers can now proceed with the necessary design changes to the model. When the design changes are complete, designers will check the model back into Vault where it will once again be released. As you can see in Fusion Lifecycle, both the 3D representation and the bill of materials have been updated to reflect the changes. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about Autodesk Fusion Lifecycle or other manufacturing solutions, please contact SolidCAD.